Hi everybody, I hope you had a really great week. This week's book is gonna be something that I call a classic book. Okay, and sometimes you hear me say this in the library. I'll say, oh, that book, that book is a classic. Well, when I say classic, I'm talking about three things, okay? There are three things that I say make a book a classic. Number one, it's old. It's a book that has been around for a long time. Can't be a brand new book, that can't be a classic. It's gotta be something that's been around for a while. Number two, it is popular. It is very well known. A lot of people have read it. And number three, it is considered to be excellent, okay? So, once again, a classic is a book that is old, usually. Um, a book that is very popular and a book that is considered to be really, really great. Those are the three things that make a book a classic. Now, this book that I'm gonna read today, like I said, I think a lot of you probably have heard of this book or have seen it, okay? It is a classic. It is called Madeline, one of my favorites. And it is written and illustrated by a guy, his name, I kinda always have to re-say it a couple times. His name is Ludwig Bemelmans. Ludwig Bemelmans, yes, he is the person who wrote and illustrated Madeline. Now, like I said, this book, is a classic. It's been around for a long time. You can always find out how old a book is by looking at the copyright page. So right here on this page, it says this book was written, oh my gosh, this book was written in 1939. Wow. Okay. That was a long time ago. That's before even my mom wasn't even born in 1939. Okay. So um, this is a classic. It's been around for a long, long time. And it is very popular, it's very well known, and I think it's a great book. I think you're gonna enjoy it. Now, when I talk about Madeline, I always like to talk about, what do we call this? What do you call the place where, where everything's happening? What do we call that in a book? Oh yeah, we call that the setting, okay? So always, when I read this book, I like to talk about the setting of this book. And I think most of us can figure out where this book takes place, all right? You could tell by the building that is on the cover. Anyone know what that building's called? It is called the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, this is the Eiffel Tower right here, and it is one of the most beautiful, most famous buildings in the world. Does anyone out there know where is the Eiffel Tower located? What city? Oh, you're correct. It is located in the city of Paris, which is a beautiful city in the country of France. Okay, so this is not the United States. This is all the way across the Atlantic Ocean in Europe, in the country of France. There is a beautiful city called Paris, and in Paris is the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, excellent, beautiful building. So, I'm going to read Madeline, and then we'll talk about it a little bit. And I want you to notice in the pictures all the different buildings that Ludwig Bebelman, who is the illustrator, draws in the book because those are based on real buildings in Paris, France. So let's start. <clears throat> in an old house in Paris that was covered with vines, lived 12 little girls in two straight lines. In two straight lines, they broke their bread and brushed their teeth and went to bed. They smiled at the good and frowned at the bad. And sometimes they were very sad. They left the house at half past nine in two straight lines, in rain or shine. And I want to know, you guys to notice these beautiful pictures. Now, I'm going to also show you, after you watch this video, you're going to watch another video that I made where I talk about all the different buildings. But I'll just point out right now, since I'm on this page, this right here is based on a real church called Notre Dame, which is in Paris. Okay, so like I said, a lot of the drawings in this book are representations of real places that you can visit in Paris, which is so cool. Okay, so in rain or shine. The smallest one was Madeline. Madeline was not afraid of mice. She loved winter snow and ice. To the tiger in the zoo, Madeline just said, poo poo. And nobody knew so well how to frighten Miss Clavel. In the middle of one night, Miss Clavel turned on her light and said, something is not right. 
Little Madeline sat in bed, cried and cried. Her eyes were red. And soon after Dr. Cone came, he rushed out to the phone. And he dialed Dan Tonten Six. Nurse, he said, it's an appendix. Everybody had to cry. Not a single eye was dry. Madeline was in his arm, in a blanket, safe and warm. Now I want to pause here and talk about what's happening, okay? Basically, Madeline, she wakes up crying because she is very, very sick. And when the doctor comes, he tells the nurse on the phone, it's an appendix. Now, do you guys know what is an appendix? Well, I'll tell you, it is a body part that we all have. It's, it's under our skin. It's an organ. We can't see it. Okay, but it's something kind of, you know, down near your belly, maybe. And it's a body part or an organ that doesn't really have a big purpose. And we can totally do without it. But sometimes, like with Madeline, sometimes a person's appendix can get kind of sick. Okay, and that's what happens here. And if that happens, it's very important to go to a doctor right away. Now, I want you all not to worry, okay? Most of you, this will never, ever, ever happen to you. But in this story, Madeline has a sick appendix. Yeah, so let's see what happens next. In a car with a red light, they drove out into the night. Madeline woke up two hours later in a room with flowers. Now, any idea what is this room with flowers? Yeah, it is a hospital room, okay, because Madeline was taken in a car with a red light, which would be an ambulance, okay, and she was brought to the hospital, which is where she wakes up in this room with flowers. Madeline soon ate and drank. On her bed, there was a crank, and a crack on the ceiling had the habit of sometimes looking like a rabbit. Outside were birds, trees, and sky, and so 10 days passed quickly by. One nice morning, Miss Clavel said, isn't this a fine day to visit Madeline? Visitors from two to four read a sign outside her door, tiptoeing with solemn face with some flowers and a vase. In they walked and then said, ah, when they saw the toys and candy and the dollhouse from Papa. But the biggest surprise by far on her stomach was a scar. All right, let's pause again. Do any of you know what a scar is? Okay, basically a scar is if, if you had a really bad boo-boo, sometimes after the boo-boo's all better, there might be a little mark on your skin. I mean, I'll show you on my forehead right up here. I have like a little mark that's a scar from when I hit my head when I was real little and I had to have stitches. But you know what I say about scars and my scar in particular? Scars only make you more beautiful. That's right, okay? So if you have a scar, that's fine. It just means you had a bad boo-boo and now it's all better. Um, but Madeline, she has a scar on her stomach and that's because she had to have surgery. Yeah, okay, but remember I said she was very, very sick. So now she's all better, all better in her hospital room, but she does still have a scar on her belly. Goodbye, they said, we'll come again. And the little girls left in the rain. They went home and broke their bread, brushed their teeth, and went to bed. In the middle of the night, Miss Clavel turned on the light and said, Something is not right! And afraid of a disaster, Miss Clavel ran fast and faster. And she said, Please, children, do tell me what is troubling you. And all the little girls cried, we want to have our appendix out too. Good night, little girls. Thank the Lord you are well and now go to sleep, said Miss Clavel. And she turned out the light and closed the door. And that's all there is. There isn't any more. That's the end. Now, I want to ask a question. Why were the girls crying? Do you think they were crying because they wanted to go to the, has the hospital like Madeline and have surgery and have a scar on their stomachs. No, 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 nobody would ever want that. No, of course not. But when they went to the hospital to visit Madeline, they saw Madeline got stuff, right? Oh, here we go. So when they were in Madeline's hospital room, they noticed that she got flowers, she got toys, candy, a dollhouse. She got a lot of attention. So I think the little girls are jealous. 
Not that they wanted to go to the hospital and have their appendix out or any of that stuff. Believe me, nobody wants that. But they're jealous because Madeline got a lot of attention. All right, friends. Like I said, this book is a classic. I love this book. And the illustrations are really so beautiful. So the next thing I want you guys to do is watch a video that I made where I'm going to show you up close all the illustrations from this book. And then I'll also show you a picture of what that building looks like now. Okay, because many, many of the pictures in this book are based on real buildings that you can visit in Paris, France. So I hope you enjoyed Madeline. Have a wonderful week, everybody.